Hello, my dirty little dumplings, and welcome back to Brian Abroad. Today, I'm here at Walt Disney World in Orlando for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, we've already done a couple things since we got here. We walked in, we walked down the little pathway that has all the statues of the classic Disney characters in their Halloween costumes. We got our trick-or-treat bag. Let's boo this. We got our first treat. All right, trick-or-treat. Thank you. And then we headed to Joffrey's to get some coffee. All right. We just went to Joffrey's. They did clean up their bee problem from the last time that I was here, so that's good. Nobody got stung, no Benadryl, we're good. But we got this cold brew. What is happening with this? Terrible. It, it literally tastes like orange juice, like expired orange juice inside coffee. I don't know if anyone else has ever had cold brew from them and you understand what I'm talking about, but unfortunately, yeah, this is going in the trash, but great purchase. We also went to Star Traders to check out some of the exclusive party merchandise. Here is some of the exclusive merchandise that you can get only if you are here for the party. So down over here, I think I'm gonna grab this shirt because it's one of the only like adult shirts that I saw that was kind of cool. So on the front, it has the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. On the back, there's this really cute vampire Mickey Mouse in his costume for 2023. I think this is the costume he's wearing up front for the photo op as well. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and see him at some point tonight. What'd you find? Oh, it's all three of the Sanderson sisters. You guys, I love Hocus Pocus. Obviously, I'm dressed as a character from the movie, and I wait every year for Disney to release some Hocus Pocus merchandise that's finally, like, suitable for me as a grown adult man. But, like, sometimes I just feel like the artwork almost looks like it was made by someone who's never even seen Hocus Pocus before. Like, what is this color scheme? I just don't understand it. Like, these are not the colors that the characters wear at all. Also, they couldn't have tried harder to make Mary, like, the least flattering as possible. And just so we have something to compare it to later when it's all in the pitch dark, we decided to ride Space Mountain while we had some time. So we were waiting in line for Space Mountain. We wanted to see what it looks like all lit up again before we do it later on tonight when it's pitch dark. While we were getting really close to the ride, we noticed it was time for the virtual queue for Tron. So we actually let a bunch of people cut us and we we were able to get in the queue line. So here we are at Tron, and that is our next stop. Are you ready for the Tron? I was born ready. Did you puff your inhaler and prepare? I'm gonna warn you though that this ride, it goes from like zero to 100 in like four seconds. They're oh, like okay. three, two, one, and then you're like, choo. Three, two, one, and my ruptured disc is left behind in Disney. Look, there's like no one in front of us at all. And in just a minute, they should be announcing that the party has officially begun. I'm so excited to be here for my first time. Good evening! The haunting hour is upon us. Time to trick or treat. Run amok and yell boo! Mickey's not so scary Halloween party has begun! <laughs> Hi, Mickey. Hi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're like a little Ooh, spooky. Who's scarier, me or you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little Mickey Mouse haircut. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so that was actually super fun. He saw that I was all done up and he was asking me like, did you do your makeup yourself? Well, you know, like with his hands. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I did. So he brought me over to his like little mirror setup, and there was like fake makeup there and he pretended to like touch my makeup for me. But my favorite part of that whole experience is how hesitant Alana was to have Mickey Mouse hug her. And she spent the whole time being like, I don't want I it. Get I don't want it. But then when he hugged her, she was like, and I can't oh. I giggled like I was back on Space Mountain. It was she an loved emotional every part of it. It was like her emotional he, support. He like mouse. had me. 
He had pythons, he laughs, he's slow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the castle looks amazing. It's so dark and spooky. So they're doing the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular right now, but our plan is to catch that at the very end of the night at 12 o'clock. All right, so our plan now is to head to the Haunted Mansion, which does have a spooky Halloween overlay where they have some ghosts that talk to you, and I'm really excited about that. This is one of my favorite rides ever at Disney. You're playing like the losingest game of whack-a-mole. We don't fix anything, we don't clean anything. We don't believe it. Then it's like party time. You're pretty. Thank you, I've dropped it for two. Oh my goodness, I like it. That's right, you might be 1,000 guests. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm. So that was fun as usual, but I do wish that we had some more time with the ghost who is outside because she's really funny. The line was just moving too quick, so we didn't really get a lot of time to hang out in front of her. By the time we got to the front, they were already like pushing us on the ride. So that's my only thing is that I wish I had a little bit more time, but I mean, come on, it's the Haunted Mansion. You can't go wrong. All right, we are here about to try the Skull Brownie, Mexican Spice Chocolate Brownie with Dolce de Leche filling and sugar eyeballs. Ooh, spooky. Where should I start though? I feel bad. Oh, now it looks like when in The Mummy when Imhotep does like the sand thing. Oh my God, it's so good. Really? It's so good. It's like really like moist and cinnamony. Ooh, and spicy now. Here, try it, try it, try it. Wow, it's really spicy at the end. My, my tonsils are like on fire. Oh my. <laughs> You wait, it hasn't even hit you yet. It's gonna come later. No, it is here. <laughs> I need water. Wow, it's I wanna see like, water. where's the filling? Oh, okay, I found the filling. Sorry, I'm like getting rid of that one little part. I wanna try the filling here. I'm trying to do this one-handed while I hold the camera. All right, here we go. To be honest, I don't really taste the difference from my first bite. It's still very spicy, very <laughs> dense. It's a really interesting texture. I really like it though. It's like pumpkin spicy in a way. Do you like it? <laughs> Too spicy for me. <laughs> I highly recommend that brownie, especially if you're someone who likes like chili chocolate. It's right here at this little cart that's right out in front of the Haunted Mansion on the right-hand side of the entrance. So if you like spicy chocolate, definitely check it out. All right, I haven't been very good at updating you guys. So after the Haunted Mansion, we walked by the teacups. And since that also has like a spooky Halloween overlay, we decided to go on that right away. And then we headed back to Tomorrowland and we hit up the Trick or Treat stop in the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Hi, happy Halloween! Thank you. Wow. Happy Halloween. Yeah, you're welcome. You look so happy. <laughs> We haven't really come across a lot of trick-or-treating spots since we've been here, which is fine. I'm not really here for the candy. But I just wanted to make sure we at least got one in before we run out of time. We are doing all the shows at the end of the night, basically, back to back to back. So right now we're gonna hit Space Mountain in the dark. 
All right, like we ordered some cha cha wings. Let's see how they are. Where do I even start? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I broke it in half. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to like take the gloves off for this. The gloves are coming off. <laughs> There's like strings in my mouth. Yeah. I don't know what is that. I don't know either. It tastes good though. Um, my makeup is finally starting to fall off now that it's like 10 o'clock at night. I got like one good eye. And then, yeah, my lips were black, but they're not anymore. My nose, I honestly can't tell like if it's just shiny or if there's no paint there. But the wings were really good that we just ate. It says chicken wings, but like, it's like a pterodactyl. I've never seen one wing so big before. They're really sweet, they're not spicy, so if you're worried about them being too spicy for you, they're not spicy at all, it's very sweet. The fireworks at the castle are supposed to be starting now, but it's also raining out now, so I don't know if that's actually gonna go through or not. Only time will tell. So they just made the announcement that they are gonna have the fireworks show, so we're on our way back to the castle now. Watching the show, and now the Dapper right. Dans are here, or the Cadaver Dans, I should say. My heart's calculating, my true love will be waiting, be waiting at the end of my ride. So the whole rest of the night was basically just a whirlwind of shows. We did the Booty You Parade. <laughs>
unfortunately, because it was raining out, the Headless Horseman was not there, which is kind of a bummer because I was really looking forward to seeing that um, and it didn't happen. And then it started raining right before the last Sanderson Sister show. So that also was like the abridged version where they just invite all the villains to come out and then they sing one song and that's it. It was still really, really cool to see them, but we did not get like the whole show with the full choreography and the whole shebang. <laughs> Now that we're going back to the resort, my thoughts are that, yeah, there's less people there, but it still feels really, really busy. Like, they're still selling lots and lots of tickets, and it doesn't really feel very, like, exclusive or limited. It feels very crowded. One day is not enough. There's so many rides that we didn't get to do. There's so much food we didn't get to try. We barely did any trick-or-treating at all. It's a super fun event, especially for me. I love Halloween, so just being here is worth it, but I still think that, like, a few less tickets and a little bit more time would make it even better. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this one here on my channel, please remember to click that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell so that you get notified when I upload another video here on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.